Johnson has named their replacements. Education Secretary Nadim Zahawi takes Rishi Sunak's position as Chancellor of the Exchequer. And the Prime Minister's Chief of Staff, Steve Barclay, replaces Sajid Javid as Health Secretary. A number of junior ministers have also stepped down, saying the Prime Minister is unfit to govern. Rory Challenge reports. A double bombshell for Britain's scandal-blighted Prime Minister and one that he'll need all his famous survival skills to pull through from. The resignations of two of his most important ministers came with personal attacks that could prove politically fatal. First out was Health Secretary Sajid Javid with a judgment that the Conservative Party had lost the faith of the electorate. It's clear to me that this situation will not change under your leadership, he wrote and you have therefore lost my confidence too. Sticking the knife in shortly after was Chancellor Rishi Sunak. The public rightly expect government to be conducted properly, competently and seriously. I believe these standards are worth fighting for and that is why I am resigning. Peppered with questions as he arrived home, Sajid Javid used every resigning politician's favourite no-comment cliché. I'm just going to go and spend some time with my family. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Partygate, the Owen Paterson affair, the Downing Street flat refurbishment, numerous scandals have brought the Prime Minister to this point. But what seemingly precipitated these big desertions is the admission from number 10 that Johnson did know of a disgraced MP Chris Pincher's previous sexual assault allegations, despite claiming he didn't. Minutes before his ministers walked, Mr Johnson went on TV to apologise. I think it was a mistake and I apologise for... Uh, for it, I think in, in, in hindsight it was uh, the wrong thing to do. Uh, I apologise to everybody who's been uh, badly affected by it. And I just want to make absolutely clear that there's no place in this government for uh, anybody who uh, is predatory or who uh, abuses their position of power. The big question is, of course, what next? Although there have been several further junior resignations, the rest of the Cabinet are sticking by their leader, for now at least. Given Johnson survived a vote of confidence last month, disgruntled MPs would have to change the rules to hold another one within a year. Opposition leader Keir Starmer is calling for elections. We need a fresh start for Britain. Um, we need a change of government. And this government is collapsing. The Tory party is corrupted. And changing one man at the top of the Tory party won't make any difference. It won't fix the problems. Let's have a fresh start for Britain. Let's have uh, a real change of government. But at the moment, that looks like a long shot, as does any expectation that Boris Johnson will follow his ministers and resign. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera.